now that we've looked at how to use Python to read a file, and we've also looked at how we can get user input from the console, let's move on to how to use functions in Python. So let's firstly define a function. So I use the command def, and let's call this one something along the lines of employee details. So let's go with employee and let's put in things like ID and name. So let's put in name comma ID. So now we've got a function here for the employee name and the employee ID. We then also do something called employee name and reference the name in the function above. So employee name equals name and then we do employee ID equals the ID. So here we go with employee name equals and the name in the line above and then we do employee ID is then equal to the ID listed above. Once that is done, we can then return a value for that particular function. So whether it's true or false. So let's return if the ID is true or false, we can then put in here, let's put in true. So now that we have the employee name and employee ID, we can then return a value of true if a condition is met. To then call the function, what we need to do is enter a new line here that basically says to employee, and let's give it a value. We'll use the username test1 and the ID123. Given that test1 is a string, we need to put that in quotation marks. So let me just add the quotation marks here to make sure the function runs correctly. When I run this, let's have a look at what happens at the results section. Now, nothing really has happened because I haven't printed anything here. So let me just go to the line before return the value of true. And let's print employee name and employee ID. So let's do that by typing in print employee name, comma, employee ID. Now what should happen is when I print this, let's have a look. It has returned the username and password, uh, sorry, username and ID because I have called the function in the line below employee test one and one, two, three. What's then happened is it has added these values to the name and ID in the employee section above. And then what's happened is we have then said employee name equals name and employee ID equals ID. What has happened here is once the values have been added because we've called the function, we then have returned these values in the employee name and employee ID because these values have been passed on. When I then print the employee name and employee ID, it's then returning the values test one and one, two, three, because those are the values that have been assigned in the arguments above. If I then want to change the print uh, employee name and employee ID, instead I type in return employee name, employee ID. Let me remove this return true. Now when I press the play button, run button, you'll see that nothing happens because it has returned into the employee name and employee ID, but we have not done anything further from there. If we were then going to use that, we could then use it in a function or something later on, but we haven't done 